What's up guys? Kurt here from Third Island Productions again. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys the different techniques and styles of guitar playing for reggae music. Today I'm playing my Hagstrom Ultra Max and it has a humbucker on the bridge and the neck pickup. I personally gravitate more towards humbuckers for my guitar when I'm playing this style. Um, it just depends on what sound you're going for, but I'm gonna show you what I do to get the sound that I like. I'm running the guitar through a Fender Princeton tube amp and I also have it recording from an SM57 directly on access, a little bit off center. And I'm also gonna be using my Crybaby wah pedal. I know I'm in front of the nice SSL, but I'm gonna be running it through my Scarlett to my computer. So first up, we're gonna go over the first thing that everyone recognizes is the guitar chops or skanks. So first off, I'm gonna go over the importance of tone. For this style specifically, the tone you wanna achieve is a lot of high end, a lot of attack, and it's more of a percussive style than chordal. There are many ways to achieve this, but what I do is I either have it on the bridge pickup with no wah, or I have it on the neck pickup with the wah pedal on and all the way down. I make sure I push on it, because if you let go of it, it, will, um, it won't be engaged all the way down to the highest uh, filter range. There are many different ways to play a guitar skank, but we're gonna use the straight technique just to get the fundamentals right. That sounds like this. <laughs> Here. So what I try to do is I avoid the low strings. Some people say you gotta play all of them. But what I do is I try and hit the D, G, B, and E strings. So the best way to describe it, it's a really strong strike with the right hand. So now your left and your right hand are going to have to work together on this because once you strike, you want your left hand to instantly come off and you also want this right hand to mute the strings below. So it's a quick attack. Now that you know the basics, you can change the rhythm depending on the situation. The next reggae guitar technique we're going to be doing is called the stuck line or shadow picking. There's a bunch of different things you can call it, a bunch of different things people call it. But I call it either stuck line or shadow pick. So basically what you're doing is copying the bass on the guitar. So again, we're going for more of a high frequency, attacky, percussive sound. To achieve this, we're going to use the same wah technique we use on the skanks, or you can use the bridge pickup. We're also gonna be palm muting everything. So that's basically the gist of it. I'm gonna show you guys a few variations of these techniques. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you want to see the next one, click right here. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit the little bell for notifications. Down below in our description, you'll see a link to our website and our socials. Thank you guys. Have an awesome one.